Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. My dear friends, I like to remember to you that Abyss platform have upgraded his functions and now all the friends were located there, we can see together if we are online. So don't forget to join the platform, I will leave my referral link down below and also invite your friends to join uh, this interesting and most promising gaming platform in the world. My dear friends, okay, today we will have our pump, we will see all the details, we will talk about everything and it's really really important to stay until the end of the video. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell button for all notifications. So let's start quickly. As you have seen from the, my previous post, I have posted this pump, this cooling pump, which is a driving pump from the engine. It's drive by the engine. So what we can see here, we can see the shaft of this pump and we can see also two kind of bearings. We have seen a closed type bearing and an open type bearing. So the bearing which is located from this side, it's more closed type to have more protection. But the other side, on the other hand, we have an open bearing which probably locates on the old side and also lubricates and there is no necessary to be protecting from something. So we have oil side here and here we have our water cooling side. Uh, as you can see also we have an indication where our impeller located, it's here. And also we have some important notifications that seal cover towards impeller, which is really, really helpful. Before we apply our bearing on the shaft, we will heat them uh, you can heat them somewhere in the hot area, you can place them on the cylinder head of the main engine or to the exhaust gas boiler or if you have uh, the device for heating the bearings it's much much better because uh, the temperature is exact and that one plays a big role. So try to avoid to heating your bearings Try to put them smoothly and after that when you apply your bearings do not turn them for a while until they will be cooled. Uh, for the reason that the bearing can be damaged as they are so hot. You have the position numbers from which you can identify what spare parts uh, you need to apply. And next we will continue to our uh, pump housing and how we will install our seal. This is a seal which is located uh, here and we will see an image, more technical image. We will make zoom. This is our seal which we are talking about here and we will have some indication. As you can see also here, you can see the direction uh, how your seal is going inside. It's really, really important. And this is important for the life of your seal. It's really, really a big role how you will place your seal. And as you can see, my dear friends here, one moment. This here is the spring, the metal spring. And from the design you can understand how your uh, seal will be placed. Really important is when you insert your seal and as you can see here in our image, our friend here uses a guide. So with this guide here all the pressure which will be applied on our seal during the installation will be proper and as you can see all the pressure from the hammer here will be transmitted equal to all the surface of our seal which is really really important so with a soft hammer and the weight about half kilo it is really, really uh, 
easy to control and slowly insert our seal. The installation is really, really important, my dear friends. It also plays a big role for the life of the pump uh, through the time. If our installation will be good, we will have a prolonged life of our pump. That is true. Also, a big role plays the temperatures and the media which circulated through our pumps. Okay, here we have, let's say, low temperature pump. The temperature is not so high, so the life of our components will be extended. Uh, from the other hand, we have the high temperature pump, which is almost uh, the same, look like the same, but the temperature is higher, so the life will be reduced. Uh, so we finish with our seal and next we will see uh, some plugs on the pump. This plugs is made for internal inspection of the bores. So also if you remove them and it's good to remove them to renew the uh, Loctite, this is the reason we do that. We clean, we blow these passages to verify that is free and from here you cannot see anything you can see only the plugs the passages uh, located inside they're passing here internally inside from the housing of the pump and somewhere they connect together these two holes connect together and we will see them in another uh, diagram so we we'll use Loctite 620, which is green color. Okay, the color can be different for all the components, but this kind of Loctite is green colored. And the thing that this Loctite does is to bond the components and to place them properly between the parts. So you will not have any leakages through the thread which is also very very important to make a kind of a bond together of these parts so let's see where these plugs uh, will lead us so one of the plug locates here and the other plug will be located somewhere here so as you can see, there is internal passages here inside and the main purpose of these plugs is to show uh, what kind of media it's coming uh, from the hole. If you are on the front of the engine where the pumps is located and I will show you quickly the picture which I have prepared here for you. Uh, the hole will be indicated here, somewhere here. So let's see. If you see any drops of water here or here, this is our high temperature pump and this is our low temperature pump. Or it can be a other side, low and high, depends how your engine rotates. So if you have any leakages here, let's say water, and what that means or oil it can be or oil let's see as you can see also if water or oil is coming let's say if water coming so you have the problem of mechanical seal from here and water will come from here let's draw it so if you have a mechanical seal problem you will have water here coming so this is indication that your mechanical seal is damaged if on the other hand you have oil running from here that means your seal which we see in the beginning for proper placement is damaged but mostly as i have seen uh, water is coming from here this seal it's very very rare to have a problem so also you have indication of lube oil and water also uh, 
let's continue from here. Okay, we finish with our seal. We finish with our plugs and then we will install our ceiling uh, ring, our seat ring, sorry, seat ring of uh, the mechanical seal. So we will apply something like grease here, which will slide properly. But first, my dear friends, we will clean the surface really, really uh, carefully here inside before we install. So we will verify that our seat ring will sit properly inside and equal from all the sides. It's really, really important that. So we will extend also the long life of the components. After that, for sure, we will wipe the surfaces on the top so it will be clean when our uh, other part, our movable part of mechanical seal will be attached. So also it really, really plays a big role for the first time in the first turns of the equipment that our surface will be clean and nothing remain because if we leave some grease on the top some dirty can be stand here and when the pump starts it will make scratches direct this is the reason my dear friends so as we have finished the placement of our seat ring and our seat ring is indicated here let's make a zoom this is our seat ring here this is our seat ring and this is our movable part of mechanical seal with the spring and the carbon and some other parts will which will support the carbon and will be attached then uh, together so that is it and let's see a uh, next step is to insert our shaft we will insert our shaft slowly and steady so it will be aligned properly we will wipe any remains of grease and then we will at the end on the back side we will turn the pump because this here this here is located on the front and on the end we will set a snap ring and how a snap ring it looks like on the diagram we will see it together so let's see our snap ring our snap ring it's here this is this is small this small metal ring this is how you can see it uh, on the diagram and also one part from here and here because it is ring next next thing that we will do and also my dear friends you must be careful how you insert because the snap ring when it inserts uh, to the groove because there is special groove it must be equally inserted inside and all the snap ring must properly and how to test that you can turn by this kind of snap ring pliers you can turn your uh, snap ring easily must be turned easily inside or must be intact this is really really important so the next uh, step as we have set the snap ring on the back here we will install all the mechanical seal parts the spring uh, some support here seat and our carbon seat this seat my dear friends it's really really a uh, triangle okay it can fall down and break to pieces so be careful how you handle these pieces and to be really really clean 
After that, we can uh, take our impeller here and also the impeller you can determine from the sketch how it's going. Also, before you dismantle, you can mark and the assembly it's the reverse of this assembly. This is really important. Degrease your threads, degrease your threads very good uh, of your bolts. And then apply a Loctite, a thread lot Loctite, which is blue color, and the number is 242. So tie it by hand, and then apply a torque of 120 for this uh, specified pump. 120. Always check your manual for that, because maybe your pumps have a different tightening. A torque and always use a torque range because the torque range you exactly apply the, the tightening torque that is uh, designed from the manufacturer and you will not break the impeller or the nut itself so next step after we tight our uh, impeller it's to set our spur gear. Our spur gear, which is located on the other side, will be also applied a uh, first degreaser and then uh, the thread locker. And as you can see also, there is a special tool here, the, this metallic tool, which will press our spur gear equally on the shaft. Also here, we will use a torque range of torque 280 newtometers and as you can see here we have mostly we have finished of our work so after that the pump must be turning uh, must be turning easy and smooth you must feel by your hand how smooth the pump is turning. And the last thing what we do, we must properly set the O-rings. The O-rings must be properly set here without turned. And as you can see, let's say this is our O-ring here. There is a line in the O-rings. This is from the uh, factory when the o-rings was manufactured. You can turn from this line here on the middle if your o-rings have been turned. This is also really, really important. And also when you insert the pump, try to keep as much as possible uh, your o-rings to not touch uh, direct some edges because you can cut them and uh, you will extend the overhauling time and that is not so good you must be uh, as much as possible to use the time properly so we have finished with our installation of o-rings after that we will install the pump also in the position and we will tie it with hexagon bolts on the front end of the engine. As you can see here, there is uh, some bolts which will fix the housing of the pump to the engine. And also here, my dear friends, you can see some threads. This is the insertion from the, for the extractor bol bolts to extract the pump from the engine. So after that, after tightening, there is also some special nitometers. It's really, really important to tighten properly the pump on the casing because this is the main uh, block of the diesel generator. And this is how it looks like when the cover will be installed. And mostly I prefer this kind of uh, engine set which is not painted uh, and all the nuts is accessible it's really 
really uh, nice to enjoy the original color of the engine it's much much better because you can see all the components uh, separated and it's more beautiful view than a patent engine so my dear friends from adventure story and marine engineering videos here on this channel don't forget to join the abyss platform the most uh, important and uh, best platform gaming platform uh, my opinion will be uh, in the future don't forget to join there i will leave my referral link don't forget to press the bell button and to subscribe from me bye bye